and this is what we call an insect hotel. The problem with pollinations of early flowering uh, uh, tree types such as um, cherries, uh, plums and green gauges, apricots and peaches. Often it is so cold there is hardly any insects around. But when the sun does come out in those early um, months it suddenly can become very warm and the, the insects will come out. And so here you have an example of what is called an insect hotel. So various insects um, uh, like hoverflies and lace wings and that type they can overwinter in that and this is facing south and so even with a few hours of sunshine in the early months uh, they may help to pollination of those trees and what you see here is this is a green gauge tree the center is fully open plenty of air movement around plenty of flower and so therefore the basic requirement of good fruit set, particularly as there are pollinators all the way around of the same uh, variety, um, the actual possibility of having a good crop is there. The other thing what I want to say is uh, frost is a real danger with the early flowering uh, types of fruit. The lowest frost risk, and now by that I make, again I mean spring frost risk, the lowest uh, risk trees are apple trees. All the other trees flower earlier and so there are various things of doing it, various ways to stop the trees from getting hurt by the frost. Look at the ground, um, there are chickens around, they live here but also on the ground there is hardly any grass and that is the chickens hold it nice and short. So the heat of the sun gets into the soil and therefore one of the first measures of to lessen frost risk, frost damage to open flower is to make sure that the heat can radiate from the soil of the heat which has been going into the soil when the sun was out during the day. The second thing to avoid frost damage is to use nets but at the same time making sure that the air circulation is not ob obstructed. There are various ways of doing that. Then the other thing what I like to point to is if you look on this side I know this is raspberries, but the, the mulch here is fantastic. It's very good for the raspberries and raspberries flower late, so you can use that. But if we put this, the mulch early in the season for those type of fruits which are frost sensitive, um, such as uh, pears, peaches and apricot, then the heat from the day cannot get into the soil and so when it comes to the night there is no heat release possible because the mulch acts as a blanket and stops the heat from coming out of the ground and warming the air. I hope this is some help for you to um, decide um, what to do and one point of course as you probably know, uh, if you plant trees in a valley where the cold air accumulates, that is very high risk of frost. Planting on top of a hill, there is a problem of um, too strong wind and again too cold conditions. So on a slope, particularly facing uh, west or south or east or um, any sort of combination where the cold air can drain away with other words a hole in the head so that you can get away from the cold air that are the most important measures to, to safeguard the trees from frost damage and thank you for watching